this will be a quick review of section 7.3 and uh, pause the video and grab your calculator and just make sure that you can type uh, the following problems in your calculator. So problem number two says e to the negative 5 and 84s remind yourself that e is above your natural log button, your ln button, so kind of to the left of 4 and then it's above that in blue. So if you do second natural log and do e raised to the negative fifth, you should get um, 0 0.0067. 89 your e is um, also above your natural log. So you'll have to do diamond natural log. And e to the point 0.5 is 1.649. And of course, anything to the 0 is 1. So you don't need to type that in your calculator, hopefully. So e to the 0 is 1. Um, if you can't find those on your calculator or not getting those answers, please talk to your teacher in class because that would be easy points to, you know, or easy points that you should be able to get. You don't want to miss those. Um, then simplifying, just remember that you want to keep everything in terms of e. So treat that e base, even though it's a number, like as like it's a variable. Um, so you have three cubed divided by three. So basically, this three right here is raised to the first. So three cubed divided by 3 to the first is really 3 squared. So just looking at those numbers, um, that's going to be 9. And then you have e to the fourth, e to the negative second. I'm going to scooch that up to the top. So that's um, a negative exponent if you move that. And then you have e to the fourth times e squared, which is e to the sixth. Um, this one, same base, and you're multiplying, so that means you add the exponents. So 6 plus negative 9, of course, is negative 3, and then you can't have negative exponents. So you flip that to 1 over e to the third. And the last one, you have a power, so you distribute that to everything inside. So you're going to have 2 to the fourth and e to the power on a power. You multiply, and 2 to the fourth is 16. And lastly, how much money will you have if you deposit $450 into, account, into an account that compounds your interest continuously for five years with the following interest rate? So continuously should make you think E, and Y equals PE to the RT is your continuous compounding formula. And um, P is your $450 because that's what you're depositing. Uh, R is your interest rate, and again, making sure that you do that as a decimal and then time is your time in years and then you type that into your calculator and I will do that and push pause and again check that you get this answer and I got five hundred and ninety six dollars and fifteen cents